No, I'm putting on my mobile hat. I, yeah. I feel a lot of pain at Google that I suspect many in your audience do, which is if you're going to build an application, what do you build it for? You, yeah. you just mentioned iPhone, BlackBerry, Palm, there's Nokia, or the rest of the yeah. world, there's Android, and it costs a huge amount of money to build a development team that can do all those different platforms. In fact, I would say for most startups, it's beyond their reach, and they just pick one or two platforms. What's happening now is for the first time, the internet, the web on these phones is emerging as a viable platform instead. And so I wanted to show you an app. This app is built using HTML5, the latest uh, uh, standards available within web browsers. I'm going to show you the app uh, on the iPhone first. Let's see, can we yeah. bring that up here? Okay. So what you're looking at, let's see if I can center that. What you're looking at is Gmail written as a web app on the iPhone. And it is incredible. It's incredibly fast. I've got some cool new features here. I can select multiple messages. You'll note the floaty bar that appeared there at the top. As I move down, you'll see that floating bar will move with me. It allows me to archive my messages very, very easily. You can see the starred labels. It's really a full functional app, but it's built using HTML5. So it uses things like uh, the offline cache capability. So you'll note that I'm not even connected. Look in the top left there. I'm in airplane mode. I have no internet connection. And yet, if I was to select a message, I can open up that message. It's all cached offline. Now, this is a technical prototype. Stay tuned. So when, when do we get access to this? Uh, we're working on that. For special friend of Mr. Rick. But, right? <laughs> but I want to show you, here's the kicker. Look at this. What you're looking at now is, let's see here. Do I got this? There we go. You are looking at exactly the same app there we go, running on Android. Now, think about that for a moment. My development team was able to have one code base using the rich new features of HTML5, app cache, the database, worker pool threads, and we were able to build that for both the iPhone and Android because they had this powerful WebKit browser. Imagine if you could build apps that ran across all these phones because of the web. The web would have, would have won as a dominant platform. Yep. And so that's what gets us really excited. I would stay tuned for this. And I think that right now it's a technical prototype, but when uh, we make it broadly available, I think people are really going to see this as the first HTML5 mobile web app uh, from a flagship app like Gmail. And like, like Gmail was in April of 2004, it was, a, it was a great watershed moment for Ajax apps. I don't think people realize what you can do in the mobile web because of these powerful browsers. And when this thing is released, I think uh, you know, we're, we're eagerly looking forward to hearing feedback from people as to what they think.